Hello everybody, this is John and this is the Mershman Seeds Ag Weather Briefing, July 7th, 2018. I hope you all had a great 4th of July. Looks like there were some fireworks weather-wise in a few spots. Pretty soaking rain in southwest parts of Minnesota, large parts of Iowa with the exception of the southeast part. Pretty good part of Nebraska as well. The area yellow is two inches or more of rain. The area of red is five inches or more of rain. And Illinois had a fairly good rain as well. It was more scattered. You can see it's patchy. Ohio also pretty patchy summertime type pattern. So overall, not bad at all for July. We really sustained the rain over key corn growing regions as we head into the summer. And like I said before, in many spots we have enough rain I think would cover us for the rest of the growing season. Matter of fact, if you look at the departure from normal over the last month, 30 days, look how much of the primary corn belt has received a surplus of three or four inches. That areas of purple, lighter purple, is indicating four inches more than normal rainfall over the last month. So we're actually pushing in these areas here of really pretty soggy conditions. But again, it's summertime and we've had a lot of heat, so it's pulling it out of the ground pretty quick as well. Um, and it's a good thing we are getting some of this extra rain in many spots because it is going to be and has been so hot. Now there are some areas lagging, and if you're in these areas here in yellow, even though you've had some rain, uh, you know that we need more rain in these areas, especially eastern Kansas and northern Missouri, parts of southeast Iowa and west central Illinois. Um, some areas as well, including Michigan, uh, need additional rainfall. So this is how drought has changed over the last one month. Areas in yellow indicate, again, where we need that additional rain, eastern Kansas, northern Missouri, parts of uh, surrounding states. Um, elsewhere, we're in pretty good shape. Illinois has improved over the last month. It was trending dry, but re received an uptick in rain, and that's improved conditions, as indicated by green. So really, the areas where the most rain and the potential for some really soggy fields would be in the areas in blue here. Um, and then where the driest soils are indicated in red, that northern Missouri and far west central Illinois. A couple tropical systems out there. I don't see any of them bothering us here. Uh, hurricane barrel, something I'll keep an eye on this week for you. And if I see any chance of that getting in the Gulf and maybe working to the north, I'll let you know. But it's way out there. Uh, so I don't think we're going to be talking too much about it this week. So we had really warm temperatures over the last week, really centered over the eastern Corn Belt and Michigan. Uh, you can see temperatures in those areas, 6 degrees or more above normal. Also in the very dry soils of Missouri, we're getting that feedback with dry soils. They warm up uh, greater, um, so we're all beginning to see some signs of that. But for many areas this weekend, we have a pleasant surprise here with some really dry air. That's that uh, area in brown. Some cooler air, especially the mornings. Uh, cooler mornings with the drier air, then warming up during the day. Um, and that'll be around for a couple more days, but then that'll about be it, and we're going to warm up again. Doesn't look like a whole lot of rain this week. It looks like a fairly quiet week. Uh, maybe northern Minnesota, but other than that, pretty quiet. You can see some yellow, especially over the eastern Corn Belt, below normal precipitation. Now the big story is going to be this really big area of high pressure uh, aloft. Um, it just covers all the way from the southwest U.S. across the southern U.S. into parts of the southeast U.S. And the jet stream is moving north of this right here. So for much of this time, especially the western Corn Belt, we're going to be under the influence of this area of high pressure. Now, I think the eastern Corn Belt and the Great Lakes is prone to the jet stream perhaps sort of going, I'm going to exaggerate this, going around this reach of high pressure and perhaps some weakness over here. And we might get a backdoor cool front like we did this week, and we could see some reprieve over this area here. So when we look at week two, we don't see a real strong yellow. We don't see a green. It's basically saying fairly equal chances. So I don't see it necessarily being bone dry, but I don't see it being excessively wet either. So what we have here on the 6 to 10 and the 11 to 14 day temperature outlooks 
is well above normal temperatures in the six to 10 day period. We're looking at some really hot weather again over a large part of the Corn Belt. Not as much in the 11 to 14, but still above normal. So enjoy the cooler temperatures for the day or two because they're going to be replaced by much warmer temperatures, very hot weather. Near normal chances for precipitation and below normal in here. So I think the trend is below normal temperature or precipitation at above normal temperatures. As a matter of fact, if we look into this period days three to seven, the latter part of this week, outlined in red, excessive heat in this area um, in that period. So when we look at the possibility of temperatures nearing 100 degrees here, look at this in this dry temperatures here, or dry soils, northwest Missouri, I see some yellow. It could be four or five days that we could be nearing 100 degrees in some of these areas that are quite dry. In many areas, it could be above 90 degrees. Areas in red are saying 10 out of the next 10 days. So definitely where the soils are uh, dry, we're going to heat up quicker. So overall, I think the story is enjoy a couple days in very pleasant conditions right now, uh, but it does look like it's going to be heating up and it could be prolonged period of above normal temperatures well into July. Have a great week. If you ever have any questions at all, specific questions, you can reach me at john, J-O-H-N, at bluewateroutlook.com. Have a good week.